Hi, I'm Luca. And welcome to the first episode of Do It Right, Dynamic Hydronic Balancing. Today, I'm going to present the basics of hydronic balancing. Have you ever felt uncomfortable in the places where you live or work? Was it sometimes too hot or too cold? Have you ever wondered why? Well, most of the time, the reason is an unbalanced or poorly commissioned heating or cooling system. But let's start with this. Why balance a hydronic system? Water always flows through the path of least resistance. And in buildings, the pipe network of the hydronic system is highly branched and contains pipes of different sizes. In other words, some heat exchangers, or typically in commercial systems, heating or cooling coils, are easier to reach than others. And this means that the water that carries the energy is distributed unevenly. In addition, as soon as one room occupant turns on the heating, another area of the building will unintentionally get less energy. This means unstable temperatures and low comfort for the occupants. Energy is wasted and higher costs are caused by unnecessary heating and cooling. To prevent these unfavorable situations, Hydronic balancing comes into play with the latest technological solutions like PICVs. The simplest definition of hydronic balancing is the right amount of water at the right time in the right place. This means that the water is distributed in the most optimal way in the system. And with hydronic balancing, all components in the hydronic system are matched and balanced ensuring that the energy is distributed evenly throughout the system, even when someone changes the demand. In the next episode, I'm going to explain the differences between dynamic valves and standard control valves. Thank you for watching. Do it right, dynamic hydronic balancing.